there's one element there that I don't think I've seen on an Australian restaurant menu anywhere else around the country. And that's a totally cutting edge type element mm. that I think is going to bake your noodles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what Matt's going on about baking noodles, but I just need to see what's under this cloche. Brendan. Today, you'll be preparing our lemon meringue pie. Oh my god, look at it. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my god. That does not look like a lemon meringue pie. <laughs> I get sugar and a bit of water into a saucepan and get that onto simmering. And fold that through an egg yolk and a bit of whipped cream. And now I'm just reheating my lemon curds so that I can put the gelatin through and get that parfait going. Once my lemon parfait ball mixture is done, now, happy with that? I get it into a piping bag and start piping it into the mould. Just remember what you're trying to achieve is a perfect round ball. So you've got to think how much do you need to get in there, how forceful do you need to actually be with piping it in there. That's right. Keep clean, keep neat, keep tidy, push. Yes, George. Yes, George. Yes, George. Yes, George. Yes, George. Come on. I am feeling the pressure. Time is running out and I've still got a lot of stuff to do. I've got my lemon curd parfait mixture sorted. It's looking good. Yeah, I think that's probably more than enough. I'm happy with all my spheres. So into the freezer to set. It's time to move on to the coconut rocher. The texture of Brendan's was just really crisp and I need to make sure that mine is exactly the same. 200 of that. <laughs> to make the coconut rocher, I need to take the white chocolate and coconut oil. I need to melt that down in the microwave. Once that's melted, I add some toasted desiccated coconut. And then once that's mixed through, I slowly mix through the filletine. Foyotines are fried crepe that's been broken up really fine. They sort of look like little cornflakes. I gently stir the foyotine through. I really don't want to break this up too much. It has to have a good crunch element to the dish. Guys, that clock is ticking now. 30 minutes to go. Come on, you need to get that ginger snow done. I've got to get this snow done. I've got no time. Oh, shivers. Come on, let's go, Janine. I just pour it in, mix it around. But I don't know whether it's right or not. I don't know how it's supposed to look, but I'm running out of time. Not was fine as Brendan's, but I need to get it into a container into the freezer. One minute to go. Yes, mate. Come on, guys. Come on, come on guys. Come on. Let's go. Freezer. We've got 10 minutes to plate up after the cook ends, but we've got to have all our elements and garnishes ready before time runs out. I've got fennel flowers, fennel fronds, candied ginger cubes, and crisp pearls. Everything needs to be exact, otherwise it's going to not reference Brendan's and I don't want to go home. 30 seconds left. Oh, yes, George. Check everything. Yes, George. Make sure it's all ready to go. Yes, George. I'm looking at the garnishes. I'm ticking them off one by one. Chopped candy ginger. Balls, yes. What's my crisp curl? What are crisp pearls? I've not made that element. You have 10 seconds. Nine, eight, eight seven, six, six five, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Your time's up. Well done. Well done. Well done. Thanks, guys. This dish is so particular. Brendan's plating up was just immaculate. 
I pie my lemon curd into my white chocolate base. I've got my crisp pearls, my fennel shots, and the Rocher discs, and the parfait balls, and my candied ginger cube. For my garnish, I've got fennel flowers, fennel fronds, and my ginger snow to finish it off. I'm really happy with all the elements. I've managed to do them all, and I couldn't do any more. How good does that look? Yeah, it's beautiful. Love isn't the position. It? It is. Love and the position. Yeah. All the elements on the plate just looks like a restaurant quality dish. Yeah. Yeah. But but the other thing that I love is I love the fact that that's actually a snow and it's super fine and looking really pretty. All right, it's taste. Looking at this dish, it is very obvious that there are missing elements. I just hope that it's going to be enough. Do you want to put the snow on? That's not too bad. It's time for us to taste. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. What do you think? I think there's, there's a lot more refinement to, to this plate than the previous. It's interesting, isn't it, how care in the kitchen translates to sophistication on the plate. Everything is there, even those fennel shots she had problems with. She's put them on, but they've got a bright green colour, and smart mood put on their presence just brightens up the dish. I'm excited to taste. Walking my dish to the judges, I'm really hoping that leaving out the foyatine from my coconut rochers and my crisp pearls are not going to cost me. Let's have a look. Think, man. What a day! What a location and what a dish. It's not every day you get to cook with a 3D printer. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, thank you for having us today at the Cube Restaurant oh. and letting our home cooks work in your fantastic kitchen. No, it's been an absolute privilege for, for us as well, having you guys here. Two of you brought us fantastic dishes. Dishes that were so close to Brendan's and they were gorgeous. One of those dishes belonged to Chloe. The other dish that blew us away belong to Ben. Congratulations, Chloe, Ben. You're safe. Thank you. Well done, Guys. So, Janine, Huda, it comes down to the two of you, and it comes down to the dish that you cooked today. Janine, your lemon curd parfait balls were absolutely beautiful. But your caramelised white chocolate hadn't been pushed far enough and it just lacked that savouriness and that intensity. But uh, your lemon curd parfait balls were also absolutely brilliant. But by missing the fiatine and those crispy pearls, the dish lacked some of that toastiness and texture that it really requires to be lemon meringue. 
However, all that said and done, one of those dishes didn't have the same balance of flavor and was just lacking too many elements. And that's why I'm sorry, Janine, you're going home. That's right.